Well, Buck Showalter is looking to win eight out of his first nine games as the Orioles take on the Indians in game two of a three-game series tonight at Progressive Field. Today, Buck had a chance to speak with the media. I saw Josh Bell out on the field early getting mm -hmm. some work in. Um, I, I mean, do you, I know you're getting your first experience with him. Do, do you think he's pressing to you? Do you think he's Oh, I hope so. I'm okay with that. Everybody says, oh, you know, it's part of it. You know, you, you got to have some want to there. Yeah, and he does. You know, uh, Crow was trying to pick a little spot. You know, he had the day yesterday. Today would be a good day for him to uh, get a little extra work in. But he had other people other than Josh, <coughs> excuse me, out today. You know, it's a constant um, trying to see what the needs of some guys are and when the right timing is to approach them with it. So, you know, I, I think everybody, it depends on how you define pressing, you know, putting too much pressure on yourself or whatever. Well, I'd a lot rather him have that amount of caring than thinking, que sera, sera, this is always going to be here. You know, I want him to have a sense of urgency. Look, in regard to starters, do, do you have a specific philosophy about pitch counts or do the games dictate what move you may or may not make? Um, the latter. You know, it's, you know, I. I don't want to hear. You know, I heard some. I had a pitcher one time. Somebody, pitching coach, asked him, "How do you feel?" He said, "Well, how many pitches do I have?" I better. I don't want to hear that one. You know, it's uh, it's part of the process. You know, some guys. I mean, Randy Johnson was just getting warmed up at 100 pitches, and of course, he's a little bit. He was a freak of nature as far as what he could do. But uh, every guy's different. You got to take each case differently. To put a blanket over guys and say this number of innings is enough for him to throw this year. Every guy's different. That's why that relationship. You know, between the front office and down here, there's got to be a respect for what each party can bring and tell you that the other one can't. You also have used in several games only two relief pitchers, and I realize the starters had a real good run there, but are, are you as much a matchup guy as a, well, Mike Gonzalez is pitching well tonight, he's just going to stay in and get the next guy? Well, it's sometimes, I think, especially in the American League, you run yourself out of pitching in a hurry and uh, realize that runs uh, aren't at such a premium a lot of times. But, uh, no, I'm, I'm going to run out there who's best for the job, and it's not always going to be a pure matchup. And I'll bet you somewhere along the line, uh, Gonzalez has got a right-hand hitter out, and somewhere along the line, uh, Hendrickson's got a right-hand hitter out. You know, I don't want him looking over the dugout. There will be a time when, the match, when it's that part of the game and, and the health of our guys is not in jeopardy. But I'm, I spend a lot of time looking at the bullpen card and who needs to pitch. I, you know, I was really wanted to get uh, Cabino out there last night. He needed to get on the bump. And I uh, want to put Tatum behind the plate with him to at least have a comfort level. Didn't look too good for a while there. But you could see when he started breaking out the slider why some people are excited about him. He's got a special – he's got a pretty good slider.